Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist and Power here, and in this fun scroll saw project video, have something a little bit different. It is a pattern designed by me. We can all agree that 2020 has been a trying year for some and everybody, and it's just been one of those roller coaster years. And I pray that things get better. But one good thing about 2020 is it is the 45th anniversary of the iconic movie Jaws. This is a magazine that was given to me and it documents the um, film, just the trials and all that Steven Spielberg went through making the movie. Again, 2020 is the 45th anniversary of this iconic movie. The shark is still working after all this time. I still love watching this movie a few times a year. I have a lot of Jaws memorabilia. I have magazines. I have DVD box sets. I have several t-shirts as you guys know. I like to wear them in my videos. I've got the pop vinyl figures. I've got Jaws movie poster beach towels. I've got the socks. I mean just everything that's amazing. I love the movie. I love the story behind the movie with the actors and all. What they went through and the time it took to actually make the movie. But the poster is just so iconic. And it's you know I've got the movie poster hanging on the back of my bedroom door. I mean, it's just amazing, you know, and I like looking at it. So that gave me the idea to turn the iconic poster into a scroll saw pattern. Now, I am no scroll saw pattern designer. What I basically did was printed out the movie poster at this size, and then I just took tracing paper, that's what this is, and traced around it. We're going to be stack cutting two in this video, and I've got a piece of poster board wedged in between it, so hopefully we'll get a pattern that I can scan in and hopefully make available in the future but this is my first time designing a pattern on my own and I hope you guys like it what we're about to do now is head over to the drill press drill our pilot hole so we can come back and start scrolling so let's get started and over here on the drill press we're going to take a small drill bit and drill a bunch of the pilot holes I'm not going to show drilling all the pilot holes right here seeing as it's over 100 interior cuts in this project just the top half here but when we get these pilot holes drilled we will head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling I am using number five ultra reverse shark tooth scroll saw blades for all of the cutting on this project and how cool is that to use a shark tooth scroll saw blade to cut out a shark really cool I'm just taking my time with each cut and letting the blade do the work again this is my very first time designing a pattern and I essentially printed out the Jaws poster this size in black and white and laid tracing paper over it and traced out what I thought would look good as a scroll saw pattern. Let me know in the comments how you guys think it turns out. It was a nice day so I've just got the fan on me and got the music on in the workshop and just getting lost in my world just take your time with some of the smaller cuts and you always do good but just going through here cutting out the last few interior cuts and then we will release the piece from the wood Jaws is such an iconic film it was the original summer blockbuster and it spawned several sequels but the first movie is always the most iconic and has the most interesting story to tell see me now releasing the piece from the wood by cutting the piece out to its final size and this piece almost maxed out my 16 inch delta scroll saw removing the pattern 
and there you can see the poster board stencil so now we have a master of the pattern and we're going to go over here to sanding and sand with 100 grit sand paper on the palm sander and I will do touch up sanding with 220 grit sandpaper freehand off camera and then we will take the two pieces outside to stain it and then paint the backboard black with spray paint and as you can see this is just men wax stain if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. Links to my social medias and my email down in the description box below. And I hang the piece on a wire to dry. And then I got the backboard and some black spray paint. And I came back and gave this several coats to really make the backboard dark so the details would pop. after all that was dry it was time to bring it back into the workshop and glue it up and I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue for the gluing process and I'm attaching it to the backer board with spring clamps and strips of wood the strips of wood help give pressure to the middle part of the pitcher and make sure that that gets attached properly and I let that dry around an hour and a half and I came back and removed the clamps and then we went back over to the scroll saw and trimmed out the excess from the backer board and then off camera I done the final touch up sanding and then I took the piece back outside to stain the edges of the piece and the back of the piece and then I let that dry and then the project was complete hope you guys liked watching me make this And here we have the completed Jaws movie poster made on the scroll saw. I think this is a great way to celebrate the 45th anniversary of the movie. Again, this was my very first time designing a scroll saw pattern. And what I essentially done was lay tracing paper over a smaller version of the movie poster and just traced out what I thought would look nice cut out on the scroll saw. But again, I hope you guys like this scroll work. All in all is around two and a half to three hours. There was a lot of detail down here in the shark, the lady swimming, and of course the iconic logo. All that's left to do is clear coat this. I can't in this video because of the weather outside. It's done turn nasty and cloudy and gloomy. And it is what it is, but I will be adding the clear coat and a hanger to this and just playing it out here in the workshop. It's been 45 years since this movie came out and the shark is still working and still thrilling audiences everywhere. I know I love re-watching the movie from time to time. Really awesome. Great look at the detail here. I've even went ahead and added my stamp and my name to the back of it. All in all, I'm really happy with it and I hope you guys are too. And if you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button. It really encourages me to come out here and make more projects. That's about all for this video. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.